Two key things have happened in the past 24 hours to turn it around. I think, firstly, the company actually came out and said something. You know, the market was begging Glencore to actually give them some feedback and, and allay their fears, if, if you like. And they said some key things yesterday. But I think the, the key line was they have positive cash flow, good liquidity, and absolutely no solvency issues. I mean, that, that's key for Glencore. Yep. Uh, and secondly, we had a nice bounce in metals prices overnight. Copper's back above $5,000 a tonne. And that's, that's key for Glencore. Copper produces about 40% of their earnings. Uh, bearish sentiment in the copper market at the moment. To have that back over 5,000, I think, instilled a bit of confidence back in the investor base. Ultimately, Glencore's very leveraged for the price of copper, so, um, you know, that's going to be key for investors, and there's only so much that uh, Glencore can do to affect the price of that metal. The future of Glencore really will be decided by what happens in the commodities markets. Um, they're very long copper because they're mining operations, and that metal has fallen for five straight months. If that keeps happening, I think they'll have more problems. Prices have bottomed, I think. And I think the fears now over what's happening in, in China and how far it's going to go um, doesn't give anybody that, uh, that, that kind of clarity at the moment. I mean, I think most commodity people are a little bit more positive on copper, but, um, you know, it's still held up relatively well compared to other ones, and uh, that's the key for, for, for Glencore.